Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's been a little while since I've jumped on camera with you and talked face to face, but it feels so good to be back again. So before we jump into the, tu into the tutorial, which is a really good one today, just letting you know, <laughs> um, I just wanted to share with you quickly the company that I'm collaborating with today in this video. So here we have Be Kind Shop, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous little company who are making it their mission to protect the bee colonies around the world. So with every purchase you make, they give 10% of those profits to pollinator partnerships and other non-profits. Honestly, the boxing, like the packaging it comes with is just everything. I'm obsessed. The gorgeous little sunflower, like, oh, I can't even. All the packaging is recyclable as well, which I was so happy with. They're really conscious of their environmental impact. Here it's handcrafted with love. And it's this gorgeous gold necklace that inside the little sunflower here, it says, you are my sunshine. I couldn't, I couldn't resist this one when I saw it on their site. They have so many different jewelry pieces like rings, necklaces, bracelets, things like that. So definitely check them out um, through the link in the description. I just wanna jump on here and just talk a little bit about this gorgeous piece of jewelry and this gorgeous company because I think it's so incredible to help save the bees. Now of course I wouldn't leave you guys here without a discount code so my discount code for these jewelry pieces on their website is Megan Dixon and you get 20% off your order. So I'll leave that linked on the screen and I'll also leave all the codes and information and links to their website down below if you'd like to check them out and help the bees. So without further ado let's get on with the video. Hey, I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Okie dokie guys, starting off I've already primed my eyes and on my brows as you can see so I'm going straight in with the eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette today. I'm taking Made For Each Other and Silk Cream which are our transition colours and buffing them through the whole crease. To deepen up the crease on the outer third of the eye I'm taking a more denser fluffy brush and also those two shadows called Puta and Butter from the same palette and buffing that through the outer third. Then I'm taking Mocha which is a deeper brown shade and buffing that through the outer third of the eye. For eyeliner today, I'm taking Earth from Fat in the Moon and creating just your average wing liner, maybe a bit more thicker than what you usually would do, because we're going to smoke this bad boy out. So I'm taking a pencil brush and Soda Pop and Central Perk from the Jaclyn Hill palette and buffing out that wing liner. Then I'm going to take that through the outer third of the crease as well with a more denser fluffy brush. Next, taking the Thin Lizzy Warm Eyeshadow palette, I'm taking those two light shimmery shadows and placing them through the inner third of the eye. Then taking amber, which is more of like a goldy kind of colour, and placing that on the outer third. Next, I'm taking the Freyara Beauty Liquid Eyeliner and just going over top just to create a more stark eyeliner look. I've been loving doing this with my clients lately. It's been a go-to and it just looks so pretty, especially with the eyelashes that we've put on. These are from Isla Lashes. These are plant fibre lashes and I'm obsessed with this style. Next for base, we're going to start off with the Lancome Moisturiser. This is their new collection and I'm just placing it all over my skin as a base. Then I'm going to take my YSL foundation, Living for this foundation, it's my absolute favourite lately and I'm placing that all over my skin. Then I'm going in with the Lancome Long Lasting Concealer and placing that under the eye, centre of the face just to highlight a little bit. Then I'm taking my favourite setting powder which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushing Powder in the shade Fair. Then I'm going in with my Zooey Organic Powder as a base for my bronzing. So I love this to start off the bronzing stage. Then I go in with my Hourglass palette and take that bronzing shade and go all over the temples, the cheekbones, everything like that that I want to bronze and give a bit of colour. Then taking those beautiful blush tones and placing that on the upper points of the cheeks. And to highlight I'm taking my Mary Luminizer and just placing that on the high points of the face. I'm then going to go back and do the eyes, so I'm placing those two kind of transition-y shades that we used before and just buffing that under the eyes to give a bit of depth but nothing too crazy. Then I'm going back in with my Marc Jacobs highlighter, this is in Jet Girl, and I'm placing that on the very high points of the cheeks. For lips today, I'm going to line my lips with the Rimmel Lip Liner and I'm placing this all over the lips and then over top I'm going in with this gorgeous shimmery lip gloss from Huda Beauty and voila! This is the final look, guys. What do you think? I'm obsessed. This has been my client's go-to for formal season this year, and I'm obsessed with wearing this as just my go-to glam as well. Let me know what you guys think down below, and if you have any requests for upcoming videos, please let me know. Love you guys. Bye.